Why does Indonesia care about the deficit of the United States? Well, I think that you know, most of emerging markets have found themselves to be a beta to U.S. policy. Uh, this is historically because of the connections from the fundamental economics and through trade links, but also because of the impact that this has on risk sentiment. And so the way the fiscal deficit within the U.S. Um, transforms itself, particularly so late in the cycle, will have an impact on most emerging markets through the risk sentiment as well as through um, the currency and through um, the impact it would have on um, inflows and outflows out of the EM asset When class. you go into PIMCO and you look at your wide set of Bloomberg terminals, I know, Lupin, you've got three logons and 12 screens. <laughs> when you do that and when you go in, what are you trying to see within EM and in the global market that shows that tension? with a new trillion dollar deficit in America? Is it through currency? Is it through short-term paper? I think the, the main focus is on how the dollar is going to react. And um, for, for emerging markets is whether this will result in a significant outflow from emerging markets. And, and the links are the following. If, if we really see a, a significant stimulus, which means that the Fed will be a lot more hawkish than the market. Higher market, yields. Higher yields. The money comes in and finds it. Exactly. And money comes out I do of okay emerging there? markets. Yeah. Okay, so um, Lupin, when you look at, look, if, if you were in the currency <coughs> space, we talk about carry trades, right? And so we're speaking to the Egyptian central bank governor. What happens in the credit space? Is, is there a, a kind of similar carry trade on, on fixed income? Absolutely. I think, um, especially within the emerging market space, we have had quite large high yield sovereigns like Argentina coming to the markets, as well as some very small names in the African complex, um, which are yielding uh, much higher than some of the investment grade um, cre credits. Would. And I think that investors that are not dedicated EM investors have come into the, some of those trades. And so there is some risk that if the domestic reform momentum isn't there to really keep those investors invested, we may see some volatility if we see a much more hawkish. So, bed. where do you see value in emerging markets? I mean, do you break them down between the, the emerging markets that did structural reforms and those that didn't, or is it more sophisticated than that? I think we have to be a lot more granular because emerging markets have become a lot more diverse over the last 10 years. Um, I think that one of those factors is whether you're seeing structural reforms. Another factor really is the starting level of valuations. So you mentioned Egypt. Egypt is one of those countries where you're still actually getting quite high yields in the local currency space, and you're seeing a government that is quite, um, quite constructive in terms of the, the reform agenda that it's put together oh. with, the, with the IMF. 